He dictates my times. He dictates my season. He is my posture. He tells, and sometimes it's before I feel ready to stand. And he says, no, you can't. Yeah, yeah, you're not little, little one. Stand up. You're not little, little one on your knees, right? Like, right? And we just, our, our very posture, our being gets to be dictated by the sound of his voice. In my weakness, is his opportunity yes. to be great, to yes. be strong, yes. to be big for me, you know? And that looks like dependence. Yes. That looks like right. surrender, but coming in humbled, <laughs> recognizing you are God and I am not, yeah. but I am dearly loved by you. Ooh. And it's your kindness yes. that you leaves. Your <laughs> hey. Yes, it's your yeah. kindness that yes. leads me to repentance. I remember this, so this last year and a half as we've been processing through so much grief and pain and loss, mm-hmm. I remember coming um, into worship and, My job um, had been, you know, a worship pastor of four different worship teams. So I'm coming in strong and I'm a very like, I like to partner with God. I show up to get work done yeah, yeah. when I, when I go into energy. worship. Yeah, I'm not like, my, my yeah. tendency is not to soak. No, I'm like, no, let's, let's get in. Yeah, yeah, we have something to do here. <laughs> totally. And I think yeah. it's really been, um, it's been the Lord addressing that being like, yes, I love that you're a fighter, Callie. I love that you want to come in, in strength, but I love you in your weakness. I love you when you can't get up and him even saying, don't run on broken bones. Like I remember showing up to my job, feeling like, okay, they got to see me worshiping. They got to know I'm, I'm for them. Don't run on broken bones. And I remember sitting there and being like, okay, I'll stand up. I was sitting, I was weary, like from grief, my body hurt from grief. And I was sitting there and I went to pick myself up and he said, do not stand up. Let me come all the way to you. Who do you think I am? that I would make you get up and run on your broken bones. Let me, let me tend to you. Let that be worship. Let me come with kindness. And that was a repentance. Like I actually, I needed to see him as good enough to not just need my muscle, but to love and value my heart enough where I could sit and be tended to. And it was humbling. It was, it put me, it put me in a, a place where I needed to repent not because I was terrible or wrong, but because I was used to standing up and fighting and him saying, yeah. let me come all the way to you. Let me come to you in your weakness. Let me, yes, let my kindness come and reach you. And let that be a demonstration of worship as well. Yeah. Knowing that I love you just like this. Yeah. With nothing to give, with nothing to offer. Yeah. You are enough for me. Yeah. You are enough. You're offering your worship in your resting heart rate is beautiful to me and that was a practice of worship for me that was repenting from believing I had to be strong it is that timing isn't it where he's so stunning when we need to be laid down beside streams of living water for our souls to be restored yeah he he causes us to do that he asks us to do that in his presence and then when it's time to rise he tells us it's time to rise, right? But yeah. my posture in worship, whether that's on my knees, on my face, dancing, I even get to surrender that to he. He gets to tell me which one I go to, you yeah. know. Yeah. And we get to be submitted. I'll be on my knees today. I'll be on my face today. I'll stand in confidence. I'll lift my head. The my glory and the lifter of my head. Yeah. That my very posture before Him. Everything that I am, He dictates my times. He dictates my season. He is my posture. He tells, and sometimes it's before I feel ready to stand. And He says. No, you can't. Yeah, yeah. That. You're not little, little one. Stand up. Yeah. You're not little, little one on your knees, right? Like, right. right? And we just yeah. our our very posture, our being gets to be dictated by the sound of His voice. Yeah. But it's always that kindness that leads yes. us, leads. leads us to whatever that posture yeah. is. Yes, yes. and He can yes. be trusted yes. with that yes. precious oil, with that yes. posture of our heart. All the way to to my comings and goings, my my standing, my rising, my laying down, my letting him come all the way to me, my standing up and running to him, yeah. that he's to be found in all of it. And and all he looks for from us is an open, willing heart, whatever posture that is. Yeah. You know? Oh God, we invite you, Holy Spirit, to come and to tell us when to rise and when to lie down. We, we, we offer our souls to you to be restored and to, to receive your breath of life. God, we've 
heard of you, but we want to see you with our own eyes. So God, for everyone watching, for all of us, Jesus, we ask that where we've heard, that we would now see, that we would see the kindness of God come to us, approach us, and that this repentance is so different than the one that I thought it was, that we get to draw close and, and leave behind shame, leave behind yes. condemnation, and be yes. drawn by your loving kindness all over again. We make every part of ourselves available to you, whether that's in our on our bowing down or on our rising and our dancing and our being still, all of us available to be renewed and transformed by your presence and by your goodness. Thank you for how good you are. Yes. We love you, Jesus, and we trust you with all of us, with our precious oil. In your name we pray. Amen. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.